Hi, I'm Dave Berlin with ZDNet and I'm here to share with you another one of my technology shakedowns. That's where I capture on video some technology that's misbehaving and in this case it's Windows Vista running on a Lenovo ThinkPad. Now I'm logged into this version of Vista as an administrator so I should be able to do just about anything and as you can see there's a warning on the bottom of the screen. It says Windows has blocked some startup programs. It also says Windows blocks programs that require permission to run when Windows starts. Then it tells me to click it to view the blocked programs. And actually, I want to know what the programs are that are being blocked so I can figure out if it's something that's going to screw up my user experience or if I need to somehow unblock them. And so if I click on this bubble, the bubble just disappears and nothing happens. Now the bubble happened to be pointing to this icon down here. It looks like it has a little timer on it or a red circle. It sometimes points to other icons, which is one of the problems that is going on with this little particular warning. It doesn't always point to the correct icon. Now, when I click on the right icon, it says show or remove block startup programs. That's what I really want to do is I want to see what programs are being blocked because if it's a program I need, I want to unblock it. So I click that menu item and up comes this Windows Defender user interface. And as you can see down the left hand side here, it's got a list of software and a lot of the software says in progress. That's the status or classification. Some of the other software programs will say something like at some point permitted and in some cases it will say not yet classified. But none of them say this is a startup program that's blocked. I have no way of telling which of the software programs on my computer, especially the ones that I want to load when the computer starts up, are being blocked. It just doesn't tell me that. This is definitely software that's not working in a very intuitive fashion. So I hope Microsoft will take it to heart and figure out how to get a better connection between that error message that comes up on the bottom of the screen and what happens next when I click on one of these icons down here below. For ZDNet with another technology shakedown, I'm David Berlin.